hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks so much for watching y'all thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all you know, um, a lot of people got something to say today. That's tied to Mo3. You know, Trap putting out posts, Dr. Rose putting out posts, now Rain Man putting out posts. Po Rain Man just posted and said, everybody, tag Boosie. Tell him I said, thank you for changing our lives. America's most wanted. Now, I'm going to ask y'all this question. Of course, like back Chris, go. Because... You know, that's his little flunky. Okay. Chris Gold cannot think but doubt. Rain thinking for him. Okay. Like it or not, you know. Like it or not. Rain is the brain behind Skull's page. And I'll say it and I'll say it and I'll say it again. Okay, y'all. But let's get back to Rain Man. Okay, y'all. What in the world... Do he have to thank Boosie for changing their life? How did Boosie change his life? Mo3 is who changed their life when they took him out. But how did Boosie change his life, y'all? Ask yourself this question. I want y'all to think back and just sit back and wonder how in the world did Boosie change Rain Man's life and everybody else? Okay? Okay. See, this goes back to show you that Boosie might not have ever gotten hit up in Dallas. Okay, y'all? That this was all a con and a scam just to make it look like people that were into it with each other, they that really wasn't into each other, just to make things look a certain type of way. Okay, y'all? How did Boosie change his life? Did he bring him to the table with Empire? Because Boosie had to have been, you know played a big part in this whole Mo3 thing, allegedly. He had to play the big part. Think about it. He is the one that got paid more money off of Mo3 and he wasn't even Mo3's manager. Ask yourself this question. How in the heck did he do that? If Mo3 was tied to Rain and Rain was the one that allegedly, you know, helped him get to where he was, then why when Mo3 was taken out, Boosie got a bigger payout than his own manager? Because, you know, from my understanding, Mo3 did not sign any paperwork with Boosie or he didn't sign any paperwork with Rain. So how did that come into play, y'all? Hmm? Did Boosie help Rain get his position in Empire? Ask yourself this question. Because he's pretty much working for Empire now. Bringing artists to the table and all this other stuff. So they can be the next victims. Somewhere down the line. But how did he change their lives, y'all? I'm starting to believe there's some truth to Boosie being on an expressway, y'all. Okay, you know, people were saying that somebody sent Boosie a picture of Mo3 on the expressway when he was taken out. People were saying that. But if he was already on the expressway too, could Boosie have taken a picture of his own self? Or did somebody just send him the pictures because they didn't want it to look as if he was out there and make it look so bad. So Boosie didn't want to exactly take the picture. There's a lot of people on the expressway, y'all. They said Boosie was on the expressway. They say Sean G was on the expressway. Rain Man was on the expressway. A lot of people. Trap was on the expressway. Robert Gomez was on the expressway. This is what I'm hearing. All these people were on the expressway. Hell, I'm even hearing that, you know, the Ski Sisters was on the expressway. The other female, what's her name? Teeth. I call her Teeth because she got teeth like a horse, y'all. They they said she was on the expressway too, y'all. 
a lot of people was on this expressway, y'all. What's Boosie on an expressway, y'all? Was he behind helping this whole mess out, too? And, and the reason why I say this, too, I want y'all to think about something. Think about what I told y'all when I was talking about the movies. Remember when I told y'all about the insurance policy? If you are working on a movie now, it's just like if you're an artist and you um, sign with a label, they can put you in a contract. So if something happens to you, they get a big cash out, okay? Now, they're saying they do this for movies, too, okay? So I want y'all to think about Mo3. We knew about the movie, the death movie, okay? We knew about the death movie that they had put him in with his ops and all of that stuff. Dr. Rose and them little buddies. Okay. We knew about that movie at the time O3 was taken out. But we didn't find out about Boosie movie till later that Mo3 was in his movie. But the crazy part about it is Mo3 was only in there for a couple seconds in Boosie's movie. But still in all, he was in there. Did they just grab some kind of clip from anywhere and st- Dick in Boosie's movie, y'all. Ask yourself this question just so Boosie can, you know, come up with some fake paperwork and say he was in my movie too, so he can get a check. Because y'all peep how fast Boosie came up when he got out and started dealing and mingling and tingling with Mo3, y'all. Peep how fast he came up off of Mo3. We didn't even know about Boosie's movie that Mo3 was in there until afterwards. Until after, you know, the deaf movie got they pay out held and then Bo- Boosie was working on his movie. And he like, shit, let me get in on some of this too. And he threw a little snippet of Mo3 in his movie too. Was that so that he can get this insurance money too? Ask yourself this question, y'all. And if he knew of Mo3 about to be taken out. Ask yourself this question. Is this why he ran and got some insurance on Mo3? How long did he have insurance on Mo3 for his movie project? Do we, did he do it in the end? Did he do, do, how did that come about? Ask yourself this question. And then all of a sudden, his income jumped some millions up. Boosie has been being in the middle of a lot of stuff lately, y'all. Okay? And I did some uh, murder by numbers stuff on on, on Boosie, too. And I want to show you what I came up with, y'all. Okay? I'm going to put it in the next video. I'm not going to put it on this one because this one long enough already. But I'm going to put it in the next video and let you all see what I came up with, y'all. And y'all not going to believe the things that came up under Boosie, y'all. Not good. Not good at all. You know, they said the numbers don't lie, right? So we're going to see. Because they're adding up to me that allegedly Boosie could have played a part in all of this mess. And not just Mo3, but King Von as well. You don't call a rapper and tell them to come meet you somewhere and then you don't even show up. You don't even come. But you tell them to meet you somewhere, and then they end up taken out. And word on the street, this ain't the first time. He done ran off other folks too, y'all. If you got this much power to reach out and touch folks, then why didn't anybody get reached out and touched in Dallas when he allegedly got hit up, y'all? Ask yourself this question. And now, young Dolph, People are saying that Boosie is coming to Dallas. Not Dallas, to to Memphis. People are saying he's coming to Memphis. And I want to show y'all in the numbers what I came up with when it comes to that as well. Okay? And then right after Dolph is taken out, Boosie in all these pictures with um, Black Youngster and all of this stuff. Then he got, you know, a record label that's um something similar to CMG. Are they are they partners now? In front, ask yourself this question. It's a lot going on in the industry, and a lot of people is right slap dab in the middle of it, y'all. A lot of people, okay. And why is everybody around Boosie coming up dead, y'all? Mo three. Then this other guy, his one of his artists, 
then um trouble just came up gone what's going on with everybody that's around boosie now huh why is he being put on a pedestal by certain people like rain hmm I'm still trying to figure out how in the world. I mean, I know Mo3 did some music with Boosie. But how in the world? Tell me, y'all, please. Do he get 65% of Mo3 money? How in the world did they... To, how did they figure that out? How did that come into play? Huh? And then he tries to run around here in front and act as if... He's looking out for Mothery's family. When in actual reality, that's Mothery's family's money. They should be giving him a portion of the money. They He shouldn't be giving them a portion of the money. They should be giving him a portion. Because Mothery did music with him. So how did that deal come into play that he has that much percentage of Mothery's money? And he's paying Mothery's mama money. If Mothery did a movie with him, this should have been a one-time payout to her, whatever Mothery portion of it was. If, um, as far as the music, I still think that his mother should be in control over the music. Even if he did music with other artists, she should be the one handing him some money, not him handing her some money. Something ain't right about this whole thing, y'all. It just seems like people sat at the table and they were like trying to figure out, you know, how we are going to keep Mo 3's money in our pockets. Because Mo 3 was trying to go to another record label, y'all. Boosie is the one that, you know, allegedly brought him to Empire. He was leaving Empire. That's what they say. Okay? So in order to keep that money... In the family. And when I say in the family, I'm, I'm meaning Boosie, Empire, Rain, all of them. To keep that money in the family. And Mo3 wasn't going along with what they were saying. He wanted to go elsewhere. How do you keep Mo3's money there? Is this why he's saying... Tell him I said thank you for changing everybody's life. Was it his idea? Ask yourself this question. I mean, I'm just trying to figure it out. Okay? Everything is alleged. But I'm just trying to figure it out. Other people that were under Bootsy's label before passed away. His baby mama brother passed away. Allegedly, he got away with that. You have an artist that you brought to the table. Now his contract is up in seven days. He gets taken out right before his contract is up with the Empire. And Boosie gets 65%? Who came up with this whole thing, y'all? Really? Ask yourself this question. Who came up with all of this mess? Mo3 gets taken out. Rainwater moves up. Boosie gets 65%. Empire gets an um, insurance check. And everybody is happy. And Mo3 is gone. And now Rain Man is giving Boosie a shout out. Everybody tag him. Y'all remember that other blogger that said every time Rain calls, everybody is about to get paid. So did Boosie call Rain and then Rain called everybody else and everybody joined on, in on everything? Ask yourself this question. Because other than that, it's, it don't make any sense. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all what's going on right now. Okay? I just wanted to let y'all see what's really going on right now. Okay, y'all? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.